r ask reddit asks what's more awkward than staying at a friend's house and waking up before them pooping in their toilet and then finding out it won't flush at it yay we all poop or just needing to poop at someone's place and the toilet is right next to the living room or wherever everyone is this and then turns out the toilet had a trick to flush but asking is like confessing you pooped there just ask them to get the poop knife their parents fighting parent beating the shit out of your friend while you are still in the room edit or worse your friend beating his elderly parents disabled sibling their parents fucking having a little kid stare at you through the crack in a bathroom stall door who then cries after you say brew never experienced this and i don't want to that's creepy as fuck. The image of a kid crying in hellish agony after witnessing a man saying, Brew, had me cracking up. Sounds like an American problem. Woke up to my friend's parents both naked. Their mom was naked on the couch smoking a cigarette and playing Tetris. The dad came walking out of their bedroom naked and went to the kitchen and made himself breakfast. I just turned around and went back to the room and went to sleep. Just like no, not ready for this. Were they nudists? How did mum look? Their mom asking if you're hungry but you declined even though you're starting to feel hungry. Then you can't ask for food because you already declined. So you wait for your friend to wait up and have breakfast together. It's even worse when you're shy. Strongly relate stayed at a friend's house and woke up around 7. 30 in the morning, went to use the bathroom then walk out and has his mom ask me if I was hungry I said no then my friend wakes up 30 minutes later. I decided to have breakfast with him but on the inside I'm dying from embarrassment. I was very shy around new people or if I wasn't comfortable with the situation. Best advice I can offer for this situation is to say, not at the moment. That way you can still ask a few minutes later without it being awkward. Being out of everyone's conversation. Then you try to join in and there's further awkwardness with a brief silence. Your friend being yelled at by the parents and the parents trying to drag you into it. Friends parents. I've absolutely had enough of your behavior Taylor. This is just ridiculous. Look Furphy Murphy. You're his best friend. What do you think of all this? Everyone looks at you you. Uh, I dunno really, desperately avoiding all eye contact. What do you think of all this? I'd I'm a head out. In 5th grade Eric put my hand in a warm glass of water at a sleepover in the hopes of making me wet the bed. At some point in the night, the glass was upturned and spilled to soak my t-shirt from the stomach down. He claimed to the others that I pissed myself but nothing smelled of piss. Everyone acted disgusted when I asked them to smell my shirt to prove him wrong. It was to be a bad year at school. Eric is currently doing two years for assault in the Southwest. Fuck you, Eric. You may have convinced everyone I had a weak bladder 23 years ago. But at least I didn't wreck my life over some little bar spat. Sounds like South Park episode. But is is that you? Question mark. Getting caught masturbating while staying at a friend's house. Better than your mom catching you though. Friend joins in. Grandma's boy. Peeing your pants while someone is tickling you he had bladder control issues as a kid. Dot. This made me uncomfortable AF. In my culture that's considered a great compliment. Wetting the bed at said friend's house? I did not need to be reminded of this. I work at a pool. I did a locker room check and saw my 9th grade teacher naked. We locked eyes, he recognized me, then in full nude started a conversation with me. We talked for 10 minutes before I managed to leave that conversation. Edit. Nothing happened aside from us talking. For all of you with dirty minds. He was asserting his dominance. What the actual fuck I would have probably died the instant we locked eyes. When my dad and stepmom first started dating, I got along really well with my stepsister. We wanted to have a sleepover after their first official date. The next morning we were eating ice cream and I finished, and then asked her if I could have another bowl. She threw a fit that I was eating all of her ice cream. Her mom told her I was a guest and that there was always more ice cream. 
Then my stepsister cried out. Well when is she leaving? Question mark. Yup. I'd say that was significantly more awkward. That's just plain sad. Two bowls of ice cream. I don't even do that now and I'm a fully formed tax paying adult. Staying at a friend's house and waking up with them sitting in a chair by your bed and watching you sleep. Lol this was my college roommate so creepy. My cousin did this. She'd wake up early and sit beside my bed for hours then I'd wake up to her face about 10 inches from mine and she would have a huge ready to play smile on her face. When you hold open a door for someone completely misjudging the amount of time it'll take for them to get there. Yay. I do this and people always say just let it go. I'm so stubborn though, that I just hold it. Well, time to do that half-assed trot jog thingy I guess. Edit. I don't hold the door to be malicious. Just being polite. No one has to do that trot thingy but it seems like people do it subconsciously sometimes. Having someone stay over at your house and waking up after them probably. Edit. What's worse than both is staying over at someone's house and sleeping in significantly later than them. Nothing I hate more than waking up and everyone else is busy doing other shit and as soon as you enter the room they all stop and say, look who's finally up, good morning sleeping beauty, or some variation. This freaks me out because my friend and I could be doing some fun shit but I'm being boring and sleeping. Then I have to go through someone else's house half asleep just to find everyone. Bonus points if everyone else is dressed as well. Having their little brothers and sisters wake you up and then realize three things. You are on your back. You have no blanket. And you have an erection. I've had a friend's younger sister get into bed with us, we were sharing a double bed, and pee where I was sleeping. My friend didn't wake up and no one else noticed except my friend's brother, who was waking up for football practice. I had to get dressed at 5am and the brother let me sleep in his bed lol. Two of those three are okay. But who dares sleep without blankets? Exclamation mark. Question mark. You're mad. I say. Stark raving mad. Getting your period at a friend's house in the middle of the night. Staying the night with a friend in her bed was just a twin. So we decided to share her older brother's bed. Which was a queen. He wasn't gonna be home. Well I started my period in the middle of the night and left a stain on his sheets. I heard about that for the next couple years in high school. More like, getting your period as a teenager in the middle of a school day without a change of clothing and people are just asshats. Thinking somebody rang the door to your apartment and so you open the door but nobody is there except some guy walking down the hallway and he happens to be walking by your door and you make eye contact with him then close your door. That's very specific. Also, you get doorbells at your apartment? Seeing someone you don't know waving at you in a crowd. So you wave back then realize they weren't waving at you. But someone behind you. Starts awkward. Ends worse. Worse when it's someone you can not know. Clogging a toilet in a public bathroom. At a friend house or at a parent's friend's house. Clogging a public toilet isn't too bad. I once clogged a toilet at work. The log wasn't going anyway and I was actually quite proud. Saying goodbye and then walking in the same direction. That's why you always let them start walking away first. Then you go in a different direction. Even if it's the wrong way for you. And then they're doing the same thing and you both awkwardly stand there waiting for the other to walk away first. And then you together walk away to wrong direction. Being the first one to walk into a classroom with a teacher in it. Since it's your class, you can't just leave once you walk in. But you look like a lonely idiot with the teacher trying to make small talk with you until others come in. As a teacher, I just say hi to the student and sit there quietly unless they talk to me. Awkward small talk is the worst. There's no way I'm going to force a student to suffer through that. It's not awkward if you're a teacher's pet. When it's 3 a.m. Not sleepy anymore. And there is no Wi-Fi. Then when you get sleepy. You have to get up. 
staying at a friend's house and not knowing what to do with him so you both just sit there in silence trying to meme something out but you can't on it gets more awkward and stupid so you both just get on your computers start watching YouTube videos you kind of forget about each other and it's just so stupid and after like an hour or two your friend decides to show you something and then the awkward silence breaks and you finally do something. Edit. Nice my most upvoted comment is about friends sitting in awkward silence. Saying hi to someone you're just acquainted with who is scrolling on their phone and they don't hear you. Now you're thinking, are they ignoring me BC they're doing something important on the phone. Did they not hear me at all for the same reason? Do I assert myself? Risking that I may annoy them? It would look so much worse to not follow up at all in front of all these PPL who just saw and are secretly waiting to see how this awkward social situation will turn out. Dot. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day you wonderful people.